Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Um, I just came back from Sephora. So you know what that means. I got um, some Fenty Beauty products, all the new stuff. So I got the translucent, or translucent setting powder, the setting powder, uh, Fenty Beauty setting powder. What does she call this exactly? Oh, Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And I was told to get it in banana, so we're gonna try that out. I've never really tried a tinted or colored uh, setting powder, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I just read up, read up, read up <laughs> on my Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. Obviously, I'm really excited. I can't even speak right now. Um, I went a bit lighter this winter as far as skin goes, and I'm now. 290 so I bought that and of course I got the matching concealer and yeah so um, we're gonna test all this stuff out I am so excited so they didn't have the uh, trio with like flamingo acid and whatever else she had on her Instagram so I didn't get a chance to buy any um, what you gonna call it? <laughs> Any uh, eyeshadows. So what I think I'm going to do here is just work with Mimosa uh, Sunrise or yeah, Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. Is that is that the right name? Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully it's not too out there because it's not really a summery color. But we gonna make it work, right? I guess before I do that, I want to kind of. I'm gonna go in with the mocha matchstick. Just kind of darken the eyes. Pull my eyelids that way. Uh, whatever color I put on top isn't too bright. We'll work with that later. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Sangria Sunset. Just to add a little color. Oh my gosh, these lashes are so hard to work with. So there we go, and we'll fix the eyebrows later. So, pro filter primer, just smooch it in. Oh, so we have our primer on. Now we're gonna go in with 290. Put it on the sponge. And then all over my face. I think the first shade I bought was uh, had the wrong undertone. But here we are. We growing. Are you seeing this coverage right now? Oh my god, this coverage is amazing. Are you seeing this right now? Guys, it's so beautiful. Instead of the ivory matchstick to highlight. I think we're gonna try this concealer. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how Kim is gonna do it today. So, unboxing! Oh, here it is! And I love that they had these out kind of like this uh, on the display. Like the top display was different, but this was, um, you know, side by side. And I'll actually swatch this so you can see how it goes against the foundation. Whoa. So cool. Okay. So here the darker shade is the foundation. And then you have the concealer. Um, you see how much lighter it is. And the undertones are so perfectly matched. Wow, girl. Rihanna, I just, I just, I don't know how you do it. You, your team, just, just wow. So if you're like me and you had to kind of find your shade because there's so many options, um, I definitely recommend uh, going with a new shade if, you know, your shade isn't completely accurate uh, when buying the concealer because that match, whew, girl, so perfect. All right, so we're gonna put this on where we usually highlight um, with concealer with a matchstick. 
I like to go really bright just because, you know, uh, I have a really round face and we need to make parts look hollow. But this should do well. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh god. The formula feels so good too. It's nice and creamy. Mm-hmm. You guys, whenever I say good things about makeup, please know like 90% of the time I spend my own money on this. And your girl works two jobs. So uh these are real reviews, like it's not, nobody sent me anything for free yet, so, you know, Fenty Beauty if you wanna, if you wanna help a girl out and send me some PR package, I'll give you my address. Um, but anyway, oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Wow. It's just like so perfectly matched. I. What? What? Girl. Girl. Are y'all seeing this? What? What in the what? You guys. This is insane. It's just like flawless, kind of like Rihanna. <laughs> so next we gonna go back in with the uh, mocha, mocha matchstick to do our contour. Yes, and let's see how it looks against the highlights. I like don't understand like how. You know, a lot of celebrities come out with makeup lines, but Rihanna just, she kills it every time. Like, I don't know who she got on her team, but Queen Rhee knows what she's doing. Like, the formula is great. It's worth the price point. It's just, you know, it's just so Like, look at how that blends in, you guys. Okay, I just need to fix my nose because I fudged that up. Okay, so there's a big old sticker there. This is banana. So if I knew that's what we call my hair thing sometimes. This thing's Brennan and I'd be like, banana, banana. Y'all, I'm annoying. Oh, what's these? It's a little cover. Oh, and it has a little FB logo for fierce bitch. Just kidding. Okay, sorry. I don't know why I'm opening this off screen. So, this is what this looks like. Now y'all can see my camera. <laughs> um, and yeah, open it like this. Oh, why? Okay, so it's sealed, obviously. Oh, whoa, hold up, hold up. This is so smart. Um, if you watch my videos, you know that I use the Laura Mercier uh, translucent setting powder. That was my setting powder, and. A lot of, one of the issues I have with it is that when you go to open it, like, you know, uh, there's a whole bunch of crap here and then it gets everywhere. Rihanna has changed the damn game with putting this joint here to cover it when you're done, so no spill. I swear, this is just amazing. I just, I guess I can't say enough good things. Now let's see how this actually works. Okay. So this is what it looks like in the dish. This is banana. And it is, I think, the third shade. So it's a medium uh, setting powder, or it's a setting powder for medium skin. And this is what it looks like on the sponge. You see, it's a little more uh, pigmented here on the dish, but when you actually put it on the sponge, it's lighter. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's like, I was, okay, truth y'all, I've been really afraid to use tinted and pigmented um, setting powder just because I always feel like it's not giving me the look, well, it's not necessarily going to give me the look that I'm 
trying to achieve, but of course, Fenty Beauty and Swatch has proved that that's not the case at all. Oh, I was using the wrong brush. Here we go. Found it. <laughs> You guys. Wow. Wow. No, my eyelashes messed up. Um guys. It looks flawless. I I I have no words. Okay, let me just touch up my eyebrows off camera because I have to run to the bathroom to do that because all that stuff's in there and I don't know that we ain't gonna do all that because it's not Fenty and the purpose of this video is Fenty. So, um, I'll be right back. Last two things that we have to do are the highlights and the lips, of course. So, my trophy wife is broken, but we still make it work. I swear I put this back together like six times, but... It's okay. We gonna we gonna do what we gonna do. All right. So here we go. Right there. Right there. No, I swear this is one of the most genius highlighters out there for any beauty line. Okay. And then lastly, we are going to do the lips. We're gonna use Uncuff. This is my favorite of the Sun of Lip Paint. On the lips. I love this because it requires. <laughs> I love this because it requires no lip liner. Here we go. Ah, yeah. And then we're just gonna let that set. So we're just gonna let that set for a second. And then. Fussy! Give it that gloss. Ah, yeah. So this is our completed look using the Fenty Beauty Concealer and Fenty Beauty Setting Powder. Um, the only thing Fenty Beauty needs now is an eyebrow pencil, which I'm sure Rihanna has on the way, or in the works. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below what you'd like to see next on my channel, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I will see you guys next video, bye!